Hi, sorry about any reflections in the certificates and so on behind me. Um, I have an office, I don't have a TV studio, so um, it's difficult for me to get the perfect conditions. I'm going to talk to you today about I Am Road Smart. Uh, this was rebranded a few years ago from the Institute of Advanced Motorists, or IAM. So it's now called I Am Road Smart to this very smart uh, logo that they now have. And, and their tests. So... If you want to train for the advanced test with the IM Road Smart, then you can go to one of your local groups. So, for example, in York, they meet regularly on a Sunday morning at B&Q on Hull Road. And um, they'll allocate you one of their observers who's trained to assist uh, you achieve advanced driving levels. And when they feel that you're ready, they'll take you to the advanced test. Um, when you pass the advanced test with Iron Road Smart, then you can consider yourself to be a very good driver indeed. Uh, you will be driving to a high standard. You certainly would have learned more skills than you know currently. And um, you will no doubt receive a, a substantial discount from your insurance company. If you do particularly well in the test, then they award you a first. The first uh, is spelled F, then a digit number one, RST. So the I is replaced by digit number one. And that means that you've achieved the highest standard in that particular test. Um, and that's uh, quite an achievement. I am Rosemark do do an elite test uh, and that's called the Master of Driving. I have uh, my shirt on here, as you can see. Uh, I took the Master of Driving uh, a couple of years ago um, and passed with the highest marks. I, I achieved a distinction. When I passed, there were only 350 people in the UK that had actually passed the Master of Driving with a distinction. Um, it's based upon this book, which is called Roadcraft, as opposed to Driving the Essential Skills, that I showed you uh, with the Diamond Test. So Roadcraft is the Police Driver's Handbook. It's an entirely different style of driving. And your examiner is likely to be a Class 1 Police Driver, like myself. Um, either retired or a current Police Traffic Officer. The standard required in this is the highest civilian level that you can get. Uh, it's very, very unlikely that any normal driver could go to do this test without actually um, receiving a considerable amount of training. The style of driving is completely different to the intensive skills, which um, which I showed you with, um, with um, Diamond and, and also the way that your L test was conducted. So Roadcraft is a completely different style, different with signalling, different with road positioning, different with speed. Um, so there's a lot of training required for it. I was fortunate in that I was a class one police driver before I actually attended the test. So I had no training. I just went to the test and did exceptionally well. You will not be allowed to take these tests in areas that you know. So I had to go to Doncaster to do mine and um, a Doncaster police traffic sergeant was my examiner. Um, so a little bit of information there on the IAM. And tomorrow I'll talk to you about ROSPA, the Royal Society for Prevention of Accidents, who also have um, some excellent advanced driving tests. Thank you for listening. Please come back tomorrow.